Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to combine multiple 360 degree video clips into one large 360 degree video. And I want to show you how you can do it for free. You won't need a subscription to something like Adobe Premiere or the full version of something like DaVinci Resolve. All you're going to need are two lightweight programs that you can download for free. Uh, I'm going to be doing this demo on a Mac, but the steps to do it on a PC are going to be very similar. And I know for a fact it works with the Insta360 ONE X2 and the X3 like I have here. And I also know that YouTube VR recognizes the output as 360 degree video, so you can view it immersively uh, on a VR headset like the Quest here. I haven't tried this with other cameras, but if you end up trying it on something like the uh, GoPro Max uh, 10, let me know in the description how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do, though, is to bookmark this video or to save it or open it up in a new tab because I am going to direct you to David Helmuth's tutorial on how to install FFmpeg because he does a great job. It's very succinct. Go ahead and click that link in the description, and then once you have that installed, come back here and we'll continue. Okay, now that you're back with FFmpeg installed, let's install the second app you'll need, Spatial Media Metadata Injector. Click the link in the description below, and when the web page loads, click the download button on the right of your screen. Once that file is downloaded, copy it to wherever you like, but remember where it is. We'll be coming back to it soon. Okay, now that you have both apps downloaded, we're ready to start. But before we do, remember, if you enjoy this video or find it useful, please like and subscribe. Create a folder and put all of the 360 video clips you want to join together into that folder. So here I have a folder named 360 Clips, and it has three files inside. Each of them is a 360 degree video I shot of the Gaylord Palms Resort in Orlando using an Insta360 X3, and exported from Insta360 Studio in MP4 format. And as a side note, make sure none of your video clips are named Output. We're going to use that name in a bit, so we don't want to have a clip already named that. Okay, next we're going to create a simple text file in this folder. I use Sublime Text Editor, but you can use whichever text editor you like, as long as it can save the file with a TXT extension. The structure of the file is important. Type the word File, then add a space, then a single quote, then the name of the file, paying attention to the letter case and spelling, and the file extension, in this case mp4. Be sure to add another single quote at the end of the file name, then start a new line and repeat this for each of the files you want to join together. Now with the three files I want to combine listed here, I'm ready to save the file. Save it in the same folder as the video clips you want to join and name the file mylist.txt. Alright, we're ready to combine the clips now. To do this, we need to open a terminal window at the folder location where our video clips and text file are stored. On a Mac, hold down the control key and left click the folder name at the bottom of the finder window. Release the control key and select New Terminal at Folder from the pop-up menu. On a Windows machine, right click inside the folder and select Open in Terminal from the pop-up menu. Now we're ready to enter the command that will join all of these videos in our folder. You can type this in directly or you can copy and paste it from the description below. Here's the command you need to enter into the terminal. Press return or enter if you're on a Windows machine and the command will run. This may take a while depending on the number and size of the files you're combining and the speed of your computer. Once the command is completed, you'll see a new file in your working folder named output.mp4. If you play this file now, you'll see that your individual clips have been joined together into one video. Perfect. But if we upload this file to YouTube right now, it would not be recognized as a true 360 degree video because the metadata has been stripped out of it and we need to put it back in. To do this, we'll need to go to wherever we downloaded Spatial Media Metadata Injector and launch it. We'll click Open, then browse to the folder containing our 360 degree video clips and our output video file. Select the output video file, then click open. Spatial Media Metadata Injector recognizes that our video is a 360 degree video, so that box is checked automatically. The Insta360 isn't a 3D camera, so the second box isn't checked, and it doesn't have spatial audio. Now click Inject Metadata, and a Save dialog box will appear, and we can see that a new video file will be created with the same name as our output file, but with the word Injected added to the end and it will be placed in our working folder. Perfect. We can now click Save. 
When the app is finished, we'll have our new file complete with metadata so it can be recognized as a 360 degree video. We could upload this file to YouTube or Facebook now and it would be displayed as a 360 degree video containing all of your video clips you join together. Another challenge I run into when making 360 degree videos from multiple 360 degree clips is that if there is any copyrighted music in the clips, the whole video will not be able to be monetized. The good news is FFmpeg provides another command that we can use to replace a segment of audio within your video with music you have the right to use and still be monetized. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a tutorial on how to do this or if you would like to see a longer video that shows my entire workflow from capturing 360 degree video clips to publishing a combined 360 degree VR video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and take care.